We finally got our beautiful spring weather after some cold snaps that we just had. <laughs> and we also got some new terminal connectors. All right, guys, so one of the really helpful things when you guys leave comments, you're able to leave your experiences in here for everybody else to see and for me to see and then to rebroadcast that to everyone else. So in my last video where we did the 12 volt, 280 amp hour build, you know, we ran into an issue where these eight gauge terminals that I've got uh, don't really they're not super compatible with these uh, battery terminal fuses. You know, if you look here, it's not long enough to contact this side of the ring. And so it would, it would go down inside there like that. And then to alleviate that, I put a copper washer down there. Well, John in Phoenix said, speaking from experience with eight gauge wire and those MRBF fuse connections, Anchor has a wide blade crimp connector that would eliminate the search for a copper washer. And so I went searching and I found these Anchor connectors. These are eight gauge, um, uh, five sixteenths, which is, you know, real close to this size of the post here, this eight M eight post. Uh, I'm not sure if these are the wide blade that he's talking about, but I, I definitely tell you that they are longer. So if you look, if we compare them side by side here, this one is longer. And so now if we bring this up to the fuse block and put it on, we can see that it contacts the other side now. So it's not going to push down into the fuse block. Uh, so I think this is going to work. Let's tr let's put this on and torque it and see how that does. There we go. So now, look at that. That looks way better. So yeah, I think that's going to work. And I've already got one crimped onto a piece of wire, so let's cut this off and put a ferrule on, and then we'll install this on our charge controller and battery. Okay, so we've got our new cable built up. And before we take this one off, let's see. I think we should be doing a full 30 amps because we got some sun out there beaming. Oh yeah. We are cranking along there. Doing, ah, doing 29.9, 30 amps. And here we go, let's put the new one on. There we go. <laughs> That's more like it. Let's uh, turn our solar back on. And we are back to pumping in 30 amps. All right, I'm going to let that run and I'll check back here in a bit to see if this is getting hot or not. And if it's not, we'll call it good. All right, guys, it's been a while, probably about an hour. Let's go in here and take a look and see. Nothing hot. It's a little slightly warm but nothing out of the norm there i'm gonna say that's success and we are still slamming in 30 amps yeah 413 watts 
I definitely did notice on that copper washer, it dished it a little bit, you know, just the pressure of that thing pushing on it. So yeah, doing the, uh, doing the terminal that happens to fit these uh, style fuses, that's a much better solution there. All right guys, before we wrap up our little update video here, I got one other comment that I think possesses some value here. And this is from a drift at last. And he says crimping high gauge wire may not be exactly beginner friendly. And you know what? I think he's potentially correct. There are some people that are just not gonna be comfortable in doing that. Now he suggests uh, a company called Battery Cables USA because they can build you pre-made cables. And so I went there and sure enough, you can build, you can have them build you a cable. So let's go over to our two watt gauge cables, which is what I used here on the inverter. And then I actually added some to my shopping cart. I haven't purchased them yet, but I, I did add them. And I think I selected this extreme battery cable, uh, which says it's popular. And then you can choose your color, red or black. You can choose your length uh, all the way, like 30, up to 30 foot. <laughs> so I actually, I actually did a 24 incher and then you can select your terminals. So I did uh, 5 16 M8 on both ends. And so I created those and added them to my shopping cart as you can see here. So each one is only like $18.11. That could be a great option. I haven't used it. I may order these just to see how they come out, but uh, that's a potential option for people that don't want to crimp their own cables. I think that's going to wrap up our little update video. Again, thanks to the people commenting in the comments and giving us that information. That's really helpful. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll catch you on the next one.